Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are taking a look at some of the fantastic products that Bico have been doing. BicoThings.com is their website, and basically I bought some poo bags from these guys. Not gonna lie, the very first poo bags I bought for this little guy were down the local pet shop because I realised I don't have any! And, uh, and we got some poo bags, uh, and they were Bico poo bags and uh, I said I, I use your poo bags would you guys like me to have a look at anything for you and they sent a load of stuff so I thought I'd just show you guys before I gave it to Doug because I know that he really wants it and they all look really really good so we'll pop them up there and we'll go through these things one by one but he's already off and looking at the other stuff the first one that we have here is a Bico bone now I did show you guys uh, it was either an episode that's already gone or an episode that's coming uh, we already have the Bico hoop um, which was in one of the other boxes that we had been doing. It was in the poor post box. Um, but we also have the Bico bone and a few other bits and pieces as well. Um, but it's made of the same stuff. It's made of a sustainable rice husk rubber. Uh, and I'll get it out for you, Doug. Here you go. It's just like a little bone. It's just a little bone that you can eat. Well, you can't eat it, but you can chew it. And it will help for your teeth because I know you're teething at the moment. Uh, it's got a solid core, so it's very tough and durable, and it bounces around all over the place because it's made of this really nice soft rubber, the same thing that the Bico hoop is made out of. He loves that. He absolutely loves that. Look at that. Straight away, he's in there chewing that like there's no tomorrow. That is awesome. Good job, Doug. Good job. It's a very cool little bone, uh, and I didn't have like a, like a nice kind of soft, like teething uh, rubber toy like this, so this along with the hoop as well, it's going to be really good for him because I think he needed to have something like this for his little teething teeth because adult teeth should be coming in very soon hopefully so if you have a puppy especially that's a great choice all these things you can find in your local pet shop or if they're not there then BicoThings.com is the place to go to take a look at everything that they have on offer the next thing that I'll show you guys is just a quick one whilst he's doing this uh, we also got a Bico bowl uh, which is really, really awesome because Bico don't only do... They do loads of stuff. They, they, I, I didn't even realise. I thought maybe they just did poo bags and I was just going to get in touch with them and say, do you want me to have a look at some of, some of your, your range of poo bags? But no, they do beds, they do balls, they do bones, they do hoops, they do uh, everything you could, you could probably think of uh, for getting it for dogs. So it's definitely worth checking them out. They're a company that are from the UK. Here we go. What's this over here? They're from the UK uh, and they basically are trying to make like sustainable products, which is really, really awesome. This is the Bico Bowl and he's already found the Bico Ball, which uh, we'll be having a in a little, little second, but I'll just quickly tell you guys about this. It's made for the same kind of material, uh, natural plant fibers found in bamboo and rice husks, uh, both sustainable to produce and biodegradable. Um, so they'll last for years, but they're also safe for the environment. It's a nice little water bowl or a food bowl, um, good for when he's traveling about. What I'm probably gonna use this for is a water bowl in the car, because it seems like it's gonna be something that's nice and easy to clean and stuff like that. He's found the paper, but he can't have the paper because that would be very, very bad. The Bico ball, which is the one that he was very interested in, which I'm gonna show you guys now, um, is actually made of the same stuff as the Bico bone, um, but it is, uh, it's got a little hole in the bottom, which is really cool because it means that you can put a treat in there for him and you can try and get it out, but at the moment he can't do a very good job of that. And the other thing that it has is the fact that it's completely sort of misshapen, so it's very wobbly and sort of goes all over the place, so it's unpredictable. It bounces really well, and it's, it's, it's gone on the floor now, um, so you can't have it anymore. Doug, here you go. What's this? Get this over here. Get this bone. Get it. Get the bone. Good boy. Uh, so the, yeah, the Bico ball and bone, both the similar kind of things, but you can put a treat in that one, you can't put a treat in the bone, but the bone is very, very good for him because he is, as I said before, he is teething at the moment, so that's really good to see that he's enjoying that one. But last but not least, the pièce de résistance is Lucy the Parrot. Now they do have a good selection of these kind of toys, uh, including Toby the Bear, uh, George the giraffe, Lucy the parrot, which we've got here, and Aretha the crocodile, which sounds hilarious. Uh, they're all ethical, ethical manufacturing, recycled materials, uh, and this is the, the most important thing about this company, and what they do is they're very ethical, uh, and it's why I reached out to them directly, because I thought that the stuff they were making was very, very good. Now this parrot does squeak, there's a little squeak in him, which you might not be able to hear on the camera, I'm not sure. 
Uh, but he loves it. It's a really hard wearing toy, which is good because he has destroyed uh, a few of his toys now. Um, so it's good to see that this one is a bit stronger and uh, it's just a nice little parrot. It's a nice little parrot guy, look. there you go. But he's, he loves it. That's just gone completely, isn't it? <laughs> so there's some sensible things for me uh, and then there's some fun things for him. And I think perhaps he might be winning here with the fun things, but that's fantastic as far as I'm concerned because Biko have been very kind and they've sent me some really cool things for him to have a look at. Hopefully, if you guys enjoy this video, uh, I might be able to get a chance to have a look at some of their other products, like the beds that they make um, and bits and pieces like that. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure that you check out them. Again, I'm not getting paid anything to, to do this for you guys. There's no kickbacks, there's no links or anything like that. BicoThings.com or your local pet shop to have a look at all the different bits and pieces that they do offer. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you can have great toys and also be environmentally friendly and use sustainable resources, then that's a winner. And I don't think the prices are that much more than what you would normally buy anyway. So it's really awesome. So. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. You've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you had enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. <laughs>